So a lot of people just miss this huge indicator for the price of Cardano and today I'm gonna try and change your mind and show you guys that there's a chance here that Cardano can explode in 2022. So I recommend you guys to watch the entire video to really understand what is happening here and of course if you find this video helpful it means so much to me if you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go and check it out. So keep our core market cap right now the market cap here for Cardano is basically 26.6% billion dollars we have been going down here by two percent right now the price of one single token is basically 0.79 cents is basically 79 cents the volume here did go downward 800 million dollars okay Interesting. Okay, but let's continue. If you go to Cardano in the US dollar on Kraken and go to the one week chart, enter your RSI here, and what what can you see here? Basically, we reach this level where every single time Cardano reaches it, we do bounce back. So we do bounce back and we bounce back hard. So as you can see, every single time we bounce back we when we hit the 35 level. About 35, let's go a little bit down, like 33 right now. So basically we are at that level where we should be able to bounce off here for Cardano. Now, that is a huge possibility here that we are hitting the bottom of the market right now. Of course, Cardano did go down a lot more here. Basically, we did go down, I think, by 9, yeah, 75%, sorry. So, 75%, we did go down, but basically, the RSI is almost super oversold right now, which should indicate, okay, it's time to buy. It's seriously time to buy. Let's check out the same thing here for Bitcoin. So if you look at the Bitcoin's RSI, again, Bitcoin was even lower before because, yeah, you can see the lows here, people selling and everything. But still, the RSI here at the one week chart is still pretty low here. And again, every single time here, we do bounce back off. Now, this could be alarming because even though this is the pattern here that we are bouncing off every single time, that does mean we are. But I do believe that uh, when we do reach, if we ever do reach 30 number here, so we go to 30, then is when we're going to bounce off here for Cardano 100%. Like if we do ever reach this level, we are going to bounce off then and there. But hopefully we don't. Hopefully we don't. Even look, you can check out the RSI here. It basically does look like a head and shoulders here pattern for the RSI. So left shoulder, head, right shoulder. It looks for the RSI like you have a huge, huge head and shoulders pattern. And that should be it. This is the level where we could go. Basically, why are people still selling right now? It's because of everything that's happening, because of the war and because of inflation that's happening. So again, it's not Cardano's fault. It's the fault of the whole market and of course, the impact everything has on the world. Now, a really bad thing that I'm seeing here is that we just made a bearish cross here at a one week chart. So this is a huge, huge bearish cross cross and the only way i believe that we are going to continue to go down if this 200 ama if we break below this 200 ama that is the only chance i see that basically we're going to continue to go down to the previous level here about like 0 0.40 but i don't believe we're going to reach 0 0.40 maybe the lowest we're going to see is basically 67 67 cents here for cardano because this is our main safety level so bouncing off of this line like i said we could still have that pull back to 67 cents which could be a decrease of let me just measure this even more of a 14 percent to 15 percent and that's if we do enter the bearish market again if we continue still to go down if bitcoin breaks below if it continues to go down like i said that is the lowest point we can go basically at zero point uh, 60 cents, 67 cents here for it down. Now, of course, it's going to be a huge dip here, but hopefully we're not going to reach those kinds of levels. Hopefully what's going to happen, we're still going to stabilize here and some good things can start here to happen to the market. This is why we've been waiting for this week because we should be hearing some information about inflation and how the Fed will actually try to regulate this infl inflation and try to fix things or try to implement some new things here. And just because of that, there's a chance here that Cardano could go down. Not just Cardano, but the whole crypto market. But like I said, 15% is the biggest pullback I'm seeing here that could happen. I believe 
Bitcoin is going to pull back maybe even more than 50%. If we do measure, if we go back to the 30K, so yeah, that's a lot more. So 23% here. So if Bitcoin does have a pullback of 23%, it's going to hit like the 30K number. And if we do bounce off, I believe that we're going to see new all-time highs. So if we do bounce off, if we go back to the $30,000 number here for Bitcoin, and if we do bounce off to the top side, there's a chance here that we're going to make new all-time highs. Maybe even Bitcoin is going to hit $100,000. If not, we're going to have that huge correction and Bitcoin is going to go down to $20,000. And because of that, it's going to be a huge, huge correction. And I do then believe the Cardano is going to again go down with bitcoin and probably reach all the way to here even to 40 cents which is going to be another huge decrease of basically 50 percent where we are right now in general that will be a probably 90 percent 87 percent like pullback correction whatever you want to call it so that could be the future here but that's only if bitcoin breaks below thirty thousand dollars you have to remember that all most of the tokens here are following bitcoin if bitcoin continues to go down then the whole market will go down but i don't believe something like that is going to happen because the biggest problem is the whole crypto market is falling down stocks are going down and because everything is going down people need to invest into something and i don't believe that people want to hold on to the dollar and see that because inflation is still happening because the dollar is still losing value so basically it's not a good idea to just own dollars and that said, you want to own some of these other kinds of commodities. I believe that we are looking at tipping points or like the floor of the bear run and basically we should be seeing the reversal pretty soon here. But of course, it all depends on what's going, what the Fed is going to do in this week. If we have some good news, everything's going to be okay. Then there's a chance here that we could make that reversal here pretty soon. But if not, then do believe that we are going to hit new lows guys so new huge lows i want to talk about the cardano blockchain insights so what's been happening here we can see that people have been creating more and more cardano wallets which is still a pretty good thing here but the problem is it has been kind of declining here we've been seeing 2000 wallets per day which is still an okay number but before we did have a lot more so we had here like 4k we had here like 3000 but now we're getting 2000 now why is that happening well because people just afraid to invest because people People think that we're entering a recession and that could be very well the possibility that's happening right now to the whole world so do remember that there is a possibility here and hopefully in the future i'm going to make a video about what i think about the recession and what could happen and what my steps are going to be about how to handle this whole situation but you can still see here that a ton of ada is being staked so 68 actually here 68.38 percent is basically still still being staked in ADA, which is still a really good thing to see that people are staking the coins basically the other half of the percentage here should also stake their coins because that's the only logical idea if you're going to hold ADA for a long time that's the only logical thing I see that you need to do just stake your ADA and continue to accumulate until well you're happy to actually sell and until like Cardano here reaches some astronomical numbers so stats here still pretty much okay it's we are going down still for the wallets but in general this is still pretty much okay if you go here to cardano daily you can see some th really interesting things and that is we're kind of bearish right now so see cardano on chain signal last last 24 hours saying here that we are bearish so bearish uh, three bearish because signal value here network growth is 1.70 percent concentration is minus 11 percent and the money here is minus 18 percent and large transactions is minus minus three percent so we're not having large transactions as much as before so why it's because people are waiting we're waiting for that big move to happen so of course there are two possibilities here we're gonna have the big move to the top side or the bottom so what is the future what can happen here to cardano so yeah guys in the end i'm not a financial advisor if you do want to invest into these coins please do your own research first hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did i mean search me if you can like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video